Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to talk about 5 different teaching apps for online lectures and the tablet that I'm using is Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. So the first app that I'm going to talk about is Samsung Notes. You can prepare all your lectures in the Samsung Notes and it also has the ability uh, to convert it into other formats. So for example, if you want to um, uh, make a screen recording, you can also do it simply scroll down and then it gives you the option of screen recorder over here so just select it and then you can set start recording and then whatever you want to make your lecture about for example you want to make your lecture about some sort of calculation you can do it over here and it will automatically record the screen okay and then if you want to write something you can also write it over here the S Pen has the great ability to write down and then you have a lot of tools available that you can uh, use uh, for your lecture so for example if you want to use the highlighter you can also do it okay and then if you want to change the page template okay change the page color background all options are also available over here and then for example if uh, you want to uh, save uh, your file okay you can save it in the uh, notes a PDF word a PowerPoint image or text file so all options are available and then uh, for example if you want to share so here is the share option so whichever format you want you can share it okay and then it also uh, gives you the option of um, share as a link so you can create a link and then you can share it with your students and then it also give you the option of different platforms uh, for example if you want to share in the Gmail if you want to send to WhatsApp or whatever format that uh, you want to use you can use to share your file so this is a, a complete uh, lecture preparation uh, app you can do everything in this app it also give you the ability uh, to put your uh, PDF uh, file over here so for example if you want to put PDF so here is the PDF option so you can see over here it asking you to import PDF so you can import uh, any uh, kind of PDF okay so for example I select this one and then you can insert your PDF file and then uh, you can also giving your lectures about it and you can see over here okay so these all things uh, you can do over here and when uh, if you want to stop recording you can also stop from here pause option also available over here and then if you want to write something it also give you the option of uh, uh, writing okay over your PDF file so you can annotate your PDFs as well so in my opinion uh, this app will help you uh, to prepare your lectures you can make a screen recording of whatever you're doing over here and then you can share it with your students the next app that I'm going to talk about is uh, Canva so I open this app so when you open this app it gives you different option of designing so for example if you select this presentations options okay so you have uh, a lot of options down you can see over here uh, we have a normal presentation then we have talking presentation and other options as well so for example you select this uh, presentation so it gives you a lot of uh, template option and layout options so you can see over here these all are uh, the different templates that you can use okay so you can see over here for example I select the uh, basic one so for example I select this one so you can put uh, your um, uh, layouts over here and then you can edit it as well so for example I select uh, these different pages so this one I select that one and then here I select this one so uh, what you can do is for example if you want to change the text so simply you have to just select it okay and then just simply you can write for example I write here biology lecture okay and then here uh, you can also change the text okay so you can see over here So you can see over here so you can do different alignments as well and if you want to change the color it also give you the option of color there are all uh, tools available over here and on the top you can see uh, different tools about the effects the size uh, the colors okay and um, uh, for example you move here and then uh, you can also edit this one 
okay you can edit the picture over here as well and then you have the option over here for example if you uh, remove want to remove this one you can remove it if you want to change this text you can also change it so guys once you finish with your uh, uh, presentation once you done everything so simply what you can do you can share it you can also create a link so you can see over here you have different options so you, the first option is the present option so then the second option is save as then you can share the link so you can see over here it gives you the link you can copy it and then you can uh, uh, share it with your students okay and then if you uh, directly want to share it as a powerpoint you can also do it and other platforms are also available that you can uh, use so this is a really a uh, useful app and you can explore it more then we have um, in the same canva we have the talking presentation as well so in that you can create a video as well okay i will show you so you go over here create a design and then uh, once you scroll down you will see an option of uh, talking presentation i will show you you can see over here it is this is the talking presentation so you can just select it and then it will show you different templates for talking presentation as well so you have different uh, templates for the talking presentation so basically you can create a video as well and then you can use this talking uh, presentation option as well so for example i select uh, this one so it has inside different layouts so for example this is the first one then this is the second one okay and then uh, this is the third one so in each uh, of these um, layouts you can edit it for example like this one you can edit this one as well for example i play it you can see over here so if you want to edit it you can also edit it you can see over here you can make it small as well you can remove it and put your video as well okay so there are different tools that you can use and you also have the uploads option so for example if you want to upload your video you can make your video uh, save it in your um, tablet and then you can see over here it will give you different upload media option it will take you to the files where you have your video saved and then simply you can upload it and then if you want to edit the text so you also have the option so you can see over here just select it and then for example you want to change the subjects okay so you can also do it you can see over here okay so you can uh, change everything and same uh, with this uh, um, uh, presentation once you finish you also have the option of uploading uh, okay so you can see all these options available so this is really a cool app for making your presentations so the next app that i'm going to talk about is google slides so i will open it and it is same like a powerpoint presentation so you can see over here uh, i created different presentation so you can see uh, i open this one so you can see over here and then you can scroll down for the next pages okay and then if you want to uh, create uh, the uh, new presentation simply go this plus sign it will ask you to choose template okay new slide file so i select this uh, template so it gives you a lot of template uh, option for example the first one is related to education then we have work so it is uh, according to the category so this one is personal so for example we select this one okay and then you can also customize it okay and then uh, for example you can see over here and then you can uh, change it you can change the text okay edit slide option and then you can see all your slides are over here the best thing about google slides is it is cloud based it saved automatically and it is also integrated with other apps and it gives you effective teaching session and uh, once you finish with your work and you can also uh, share it okay so you can see over here this sign over here so you can add people or group okay and then uh, you can also uh, i will go back okay you can also share it in the other platform so you can see over here these three dots is selected then you can see different options of uh, sharing you can manage people and links okay the next app that i'm going to talk about is serello so serello is almost uh, similar like canva it gives you different uh, design options so you can see over here there are different design option and then in the same way um, that you use in the canva you can create uh, your presentation so you can see over here there are different design options 
okay you can also customize your designs as well so you can see over here the next app that i'm going to talk about is keep notes so it is from google it is also called google keep so in google keeps uh, it gives you the option for uh, writing uh, on the whiteboard so you can see over here you can deliver your lectures okay and you can also uh, do the screen recording using a six light okay so you can see over here there are different uh, tools option available so you can see over here so you can use this highlighter so all tools available over here then uh, you have the option uh, of uh, different uh, tools also here and then if you want to share you can share it okay whatever uh, work you do on your uh, google keeps it will uh, save it uh, automatically and then if you want to insert images you can also uh, add the images and then if you want to uh, create a new note you can create title and yeah, then here you can uh, write the description as well uh, and then it is also integrated with the other apps because it is from the Google it is uh, cloud based uh, so this is all for today's video I hope you like the video I hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much